In physics, the Thomas precession, named after Llewellyn Thomas, is a relativistic correction that applies to the spin of an elementary particle or the rotation of a macroscopic gyroscope and relates the angular velocity of the spin of a particle following a curvilinear orbit to the angular velocity of the orbital motion. For a given inertial frame, if a second frame is Lorentz boosted relative to it, and a third boosted relative to the second, but non-collinear with the first boost, then the Lorentz transformation between the first and third frames involves a combined boost and rotation, known as the Wigner rotation, or Thomas rotation. For accelerated motion, the accelerated frame has an inertial frame at every instant. Two boosts a small time interval as measured in the lab frame apart leads to a Wigner rotation after the second boost. In the limit the time interval tends to zero, the accelerated frame will rotate at every instant, so the accelerated frame rotates with an angular velocity. The precession can be understood geometrically as a consequence of the fact that the space of velocities in relativity is hyperbolic, and so parallel transport of a vector the gyroscope's angular velocity around a circle its linear velocity leaves it pointing in a different direction, or understood algebraically as being a result of the non-commutativity of Lorentz transformations. Thomas precession gives a correction to the spin-orbit interaction in quantum mechanics, which takes into account the relativistic time dilation between the electron and the nucleus of an atom. Thomas precession is a kinematic effect in the flat spacetime of special relativity. In the curved spacetime of general relativity, Thomas precession combines with a geometric effect to produce de Sitter precession. Although Thomas precession net rotation after a trajectory that returns to its initial velocity is a purely kinematic effect, it only occurs in curvilinear motion and therefore cannot be observed independently of some external force causing the curvilinear motion such as that caused by an electromagnetic field, a gravitational field or a mechanical force, so Thomas precession is usually accompanied by dynamical effects. If the system experiences no external torque, e.g., in external scalar fields, its spin dynamics is determined only only by the Thomas precession. A single discrete Thomas rotation as opposed to the series of infinitesimal rotations that add up to the Thomas precession is present in situations any time there are three or more inertial frames in non-collinear motion, as can be seen using Lorentz transformations. History Thomas precession in relativity was already known to Ludwig Silberstein, in 1914. But the only knowledge Thomas had of relativistic precession came from de Sitter's paper on the relativistic precession of the Moon, first published in a book by Eddington. In 1925, Thomas relativistically recomputed the precessional frequency of the doublet separation in the fine structure of the atom. He thus found the missing factor 1 half, which came to be known as the Thomas half. This discovery of the relativistic precession of the electron spin led to the understanding of the significance of the relativistic effect. The effect was consequently named, Thomas precession. <laughs> <laughs> Introduction Definition <laughs> 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 Consider a physical system moving through Minkowski spacetime. Assume that there is at any moment an inertial system such that in it, the system is at rest. This assumption is sometimes called the third postulate of relativity. This means that at any instant, the coordinates and state of the system can be Lorentz transformed to the lab system through some Lorentz transformation. Let the system be subject to external forces that produce no torque with respect to its center of mass in its instantaneous rest frame. The condition of no torque is necessary to isolate the phenomenon of Thomas precession. As a simplifying assumption one assumes that the external forces bring the system back to its initial velocity after some finite time. Fix a Lorentz frame O such that the initial and final velocities are zero. The Pauli-Lubansky spin vector S mu is defined to be zero, C in the system's rest frame, with C the angular momentum 3 vector about the center of mass. In the motion from initial to final position, S mu undergoes a rotation, as recorded in O, from its initial to its final value. This continuous change is the Thomas precession. Topic statement Consider the motion of a particle. Introduce a lab frame sigma in which an observer can measure the relative motion of the particle. 
At each instant of time the particle has an inertial frame in which it is at rest. Relative to this lab frame, the instantaneous velocity of the particle is v t with magnitude, v, equals v bounded by the speed of light c, so that zero v apart from the upper limit on magnitude, the velocity of the particle is arbitrary and not necessarily constant, its corresponding vector of acceleration is a equals dv t, dt. As a result of the Wigner rotation at every instant, the particle's frame precesses with an angular velocity given by the where times is the cross product and gamma equals 1 1 minus v t 2 c 2 display style gamma equals d f r a c 1 s q r t 1 d f r a c math b f v t caret 2 c caret 2 is the instantaneous Lorentz factor, a function of the particle's instantaneous velocity. Like any angular velocity, omega t is a pseudovector, its magnitude is the angular speed the particle's frame precesses in radians per second, and the direction points along the rotation axis. As is usual, the right-hand convention of the cross product is used see right -hand rule. The precession depends on accelerated motion, and the non-collinearity of the particle's instantaneous velocity and acceleration. No precession occurs if the particle moves with uniform velocity constant v so a equals zero, or accelerates in a straight line in which case v and a are parallel or antiparallel so their cross product is zero. The particle has to move in a curve, say an arc, spiral, helix, or a circular orbit or elliptical orbit, for its frame to precess. The angular velocity of the precession is a maximum if the velocity and acceleration vectors are perpendicular throughout the motion a circular orbit, and is large if their magnitudes are large the magnitude of v is almost c. In the non-relativistic limit, v0 so γ1, and the angular velocity is approximately ω t approximately equals 1 2 c 2 times v display style bold symbol omega underscore text t approximately frac 1 2 c caret 2 math bf of times math bf v the factor of one half turns out to be the critical factor to agree with experimental results it is informally known as the thomas half topic mathematical explanation Topic. Lorentz transformations The description of relative motion involves Lorentz transformations, and it is convenient to use them in matrix form. Symbolic matrix expressions summarize the transformations and are easy to manipulate, and when required, the full matrices can be written explicitly. Also, to prevent extra factors of C cluttering the equations, it is convenient to use the definition β. Topic v t c with magnitude beta beta such that zero beta. The spacetime coordinates of the lab frame are collected into a four times one column vector, and the boost is represented as a four times four symmetric matrix, respectively. X equals c t x y z b beta equals gamma minus gamma beta x minus gamma beta y minus gamma beta z minus gamma beta x 1 plus gamma minus 1 beta x 2 beta 2 gamma minus 1 beta x beta y beta 2 gamma minus 1 beta x beta z beta 2 minus gamma beta y gamma minus 1 beta y beta x 
beta 2 1 plus gamma minus 1 beta y 2 beta 2 gamma minus 1 beta y beta z beta 2 minus gamma beta z gamma minus 1 beta z beta x beta 2 gamma minus 1 beta z beta y beta 2 1 plus gamma minus 1 beta z 2 beta 2 display style x equals begin b matrix court x y z end b matrix quad b bold symbol beta equals begin b matrix gamma end gamma beta underscore x end gamma beta underscore y end gamma beta underscore z gamma beta underscore x and 1 plus gamma minus 1 d f r a c beta underscore x caret 2 beta caret 2 end gamma minus 1 d f r a C beta underscore x beta underscore y beta carrot two and gamma minus one D F R A C beta underscore x beta underscore z beta carrot two gamma beta underscore y and gamma minus one D F R A C beta underscore y beta underscore x beta carrot two and one plus gamma minus one D F R A C beta underscore y carrot two beta carrot two and gamma minus one D F R A C beta underscore y beta Beta underscore Z beta carrot two gamma beta underscore Z and gamma minus one D F R A C beta underscore Z beta underscore X beta carrot two and gamma minus one D F R A C beta underscore Z beta underscore Y beta carrot two and one plus gamma minus one D F R A C beta underscore Z carrot two beta carrot two and B matrix and turn gamma equals one one minus beta two display style gamma equals F R a C one SQRT one bold symbol beta carrot two is the Lorentz factor of beta. In other frames, the corresponding coordinates are also arranged into column vectors. The inverse matrix of the boost corresponds to a boost in the opposite direction, and is given by B beta minus one equals B minus beta. At an instant of lab recorded time t measured in the lab frame, the transformation of spacetime coordinates from the lab frame σ to the particle's frame σ is an at later lab recorded time t plus delta t. We can define a new frame σ for the particle, which moves with velocity β plus dB relative to σ, and the corresponding boost as the vectors β and dB are two separate vectors. The latter is a small increment, and can be conveniently split into components parallel and perpendicular to β. Delta beta equals delta beta plus delta beta display style delta bold symbol beta equals delta bold symbol beta underscore parallel plus delta bold symbol beta underscore per combining one and two obtains the Lorentz transformation between sigma and sigma and this composition contains all the required information about the motion between these two lab times. Notice b beta plus db b minus beta and b beta plus db are infinitesimal transformations because they involve a small increment in the relative velocity, while b minus beta is not. The composition of two boosts equates to a single boost combined with a Wigner rotation about an axis perpendicular to the relative velocities. The rotation is given by as a 4 times 4 rotation matrix R in the axis angle representation, and coordinate systems are taken to be right-handed. This matrix rotates 3D vectors anticlockwise about an axis active transformation, or equivalently rotates coordinate frames clockwise about the same axis passive transformation. The axis angle vector d parametrizes the rotation, its magnitude d as the angle σ has rotated, and direction is parallel to the rotation axis, in this case the axis is parallel to the cross product minus beta times beta plus db. <laughs> minus beta times db. If the angles are negative, then the sense of rotation is reversed. 
The inverse matrix is given by R D minus one R minus D. Corresponding to the boost is the small change in the boost vector delta b, with magnitude and direction of the relative velocity of the boost divided by c. The boost b, delta b, and rotation r d here are infinitesimal transformations because delta b and rotation d are small. The rotation gives rise to the Thomas precession, but there is a subtlety. To interpret the particle's frame as a co-moving inertial frame relative to the lab frame, and agree with the non-relativistic limit, we expect the transformation between the particle's instantaneous frames at times t and t plus delta t to be related by a boost without rotation. Combining 3 and 4 and rearranging gives where another instantaneous frame σ is introduced with coordinates x, to prevent conflation with σ. To summarize the frames of reference, in the lab frame sigma an observer measures the motion of the particle, and three instantaneous inertial frames in which the particle is at rest are sigma at time t, sigma at time t plus delta t, and sigma at time t plus delta t. The frames sigma and sigma are at the same location and time, they differ only by a rotation. By contrast sigma and sigma differ by a boost and lab time interval delta t. Relating the coordinates x to the lab coordinates x via 5 and 2, the frame σ is rotated in the negative sense. The rotation is between two instants of lab time. As delta t0, the particle's frame rotates at every instant, and the continuous motion of the particle amounts to a continuous rotation with an angular velocity at every instant. Dividing minus d by delta t, and taking the limit delta t0, the angular velocity is by definition. It remains to find what deed precisely is. Topic: <inaudible> Extracting the formula. The composition can be obtained by explicitly calculating the matrix product. The boost matrix of beta plus dB will require the magnitude and Lorentz factor of this vector. Since dB is small, terms of second order db2, dbx2, dby2, dbx dby and higher are negligible. Taking advantage of this fact, the magnitude squared of the vector is beta plus delta beta 2 equals beta 2 plus 2 beta delta beta Display style bold symbol beta plus delta bold symbol beta caret two equals bold symbol beta caret two plus two bold symbol beta c d o t delta bold symbol beta, and expanding the Lorentz factor of beta plus d b as a power series gives to first order in d b one one minus beta plus delta beta two equals 1 plus 1 2 beta plus delta beta 2 plus 3 8 beta plus delta beta 4 plus equals 1 plus beta 2 plus 3 8 beta 4 plus plus 1 plus 3 2 Beta two plus beta delta beta approximately equals gamma plus gamma three beta delta beta display style begin aligned frac one sqrt one bold symbol beta plus delta bold symbol beta caret two and equals one plus frac one two bold symbol beta plus delta bold symbol beta caret two plus frac three eight bold symbol beta plus delta bold symbol beta caret four plus c d o t s and equals 
equals left one plus frac bold symbol beta caret two two plus frac three eight bold symbol beta caret four plus c d o t s right plus left one plus frac three two bold symbol beta caret two plus c d o t s right bold symbol beta c d o t delta bold symbol beta and approximately gamma plus gamma caret three bold symbol beta c d o t delta bold symbol beta end aligned using the Lorentz factor gamma of beta as above. Introducing the boost generators k x equals 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 k y equals 0 0 1 0 O O O O one O O O O O O O K Z equals O O O one O O O O O O O O one O O O Display style K underscore X equals begin B matrix zero and one and zero and zero one and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero end B matrix quad K underscore Y equals B Egan B matrix zero and zero and one and zero zero and zero and zero and zero one and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero end B matrix quad K underscore Z equals begin B matrix zero and zero and zero and one zero and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero one and zero and zero and zero end B matrix and rotation generators J X equals O O O O O O O O O O O minus one O O one O J Y equals O O O O O O O one O O O O O minus one O O J Z equals O O O O O O minus one O O one O O O O O O Display style J underscore X equals begin B matrix zero and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and minus one zero and zero and one and zero and B matrix quad J underscore Y equals begin B matrix zero and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and one zero Zero and zero and zero and zero, zero and minus one and zero and zero, and B matrix quad J underscore Z equals begin B matrix zero and zero and zero and zero, zero and zero and minus one and zero, zero and one and zero and zero, zero and zero and zero and zero, end B matrix along with the dot product facilitates the coordinate independent expression lambda equals I minus gamma minus one beta 2 beta times delta beta j minus gamma gamma delta beta plus delta beta k Display style lambda equals i left frac gamma minus one beta caret two right bold symbol beta times delta bold symbol beta c d o t math b f j gamma gamma delta bold symbol beta underscore parallel plus delta bold symbol beta underscore perp c d o t math b f k, which holds if beta and d b lie in any plane. This is an infinitesimal Lorentz transformation in the form of a combined boost and rotation. Lambda equals I minus delta theta J minus delta B K Display style lambda equals I delta bold symbol theta C D O T Math B F J delta Math B F B C D O T Math B F K where delta theta equals gamma minus 1 beta 2 beta times delta beta equals 1 c 
2 gamma 2 gamma plus 1 v times delta v display style delta bold symbol theta equals left frac gamma minus 1 beta caret 2 right bold symbol beta times delta bold symbol beta equals frac 1 c caret 2 left frac gamma caret 2 gamma plus 1 right math bf v times delta math bf v delta b equals gamma gamma delta beta plus delta beta display style delta math bf b equals gamma gamma delta bold symbol beta underscore parallel plus delta bold symbol beta underscore perp after dividing d by delta t and taking the limit as in 7 one obtains the instantaneous angular velocity omega t equals 1 c 2 gamma 2 gamma plus 1 a times v display style bold symbol omega underscore t equals frac 1 c caret 2 left frac gamma caret 2 gamma plus 1 right math bf a times math bf v where a is the acceleration of the particle as observed in the lab frame no forces were specified or used in the derivation so the precession is a kinematical effect, it arises from the geometric aspects of motion. However, forces cause accelerations, so the Thomas precession is observed if the particle is subject to forces. <laughs> <laughs> applications in electron orbitals In quantum mechanics Thomas precession is a correction to the spin-orbit interaction, which takes into account the relativistic time dilation between the electron and the nucleus in hydrogenic atoms. Basically, it states that spinning objects precess when they accelerate in special relativity because Lorentz boosts do not commute with each other. To calculate the spin of a particle in a magnetic field, one must also take into account Larmor precession. In a Foucault pendulum The rotation of the swing plane of Foucault pendulum can be treated as a result of parallel transport of the pendulum in a two-dimensional sphere of Euclidean space. The hyperbolic space of velocities in Minkowski spacetime represents a three-dimensional sphere with imaginary radius and imaginary timelike coordinate. Parallel transport of a spinning particle in relativistic velocity space leads to Thomas precession, which is similar to the rotation of the swing plane of a Foucault pendulum. The angle of rotation in both cases is determined by the area integral of curvature in agreement with the Gauss-Bonnet theorem. Thomas precession gives a correction to the precession of a Foucault pendulum. For a Foucault pendulum located in the city of Nijmegen in the Netherlands the correction is omega approximately equals 9.5 10 minus 7 a r c s e c o n D S D A Y Display style Omega approximately nine point five C D O T ten carat minus seven Mathem arc seconds Mathem day. Note that it is more than two orders of magnitude smaller than the precession due to the general relativistic correction arising from frame dragging, the lens Thuring precession. See also Velocity addition formula Relativistic angular momentum Remarks Notes <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>